All right, what's going on everybody? So I have this brand new deck that I kind of want to try out. Um, I need to practice it for actual league games. So I'm gonna make a video on it and see um, how it actually feels because I haven't really used it. I played literally one game with it before this. Um, so we'll see if we can get some wins. And it's a really good deck. It's like drill control, but you have plenty of splash damage to kind of counter the meta at the moment since there's a lot of barbs, um, a ton of recruits and a ton of just like swarm cards um, in the meta. The one or the couple, like the few problems with this deck is you don't really have a big spell. That was a really, oh my gosh, that was the worst recruits I've ever seen in my life. Um, but we are facing recruits first game, which is really good. It's going to be an easy matchup, I think. I'm just going to go for the drill on the right side. See what he wants to do here. Um, he's, wait, what? He's playing knight recruits. That doesn't even make any sense. I'm actually just going to pop that gold knight ability to kill the, okay, he's got logged. So he's got a pretty decent counter to my... Um, drill also the this deck you're gonna need a lot of damage from like executioner tornadoes firecracker tornado bowler tornado stuff like that even golden knights uh, you have plenty of options with the nato combination um, but you aren't really gonna win with just drills you're gonna have to get some extra chip damage from other stuff but i don't know it's, it's fun to play so i'm just gonna cycle the bowler in the back had a really um I could, this video is probably gonna go up late because i've had a really long day um and i just got we just actually finished a game like probably about an hour ago at the time i'm recording this so i got home ate some food and i'm instantly recording just had to get this video out so it probably won't be super long but i'm excited to uh hopefully win some games with this deck hopefully i'm not recording for a freaking hour and i don't win a single game that'd be pretty awkward but i'm just gonna pop the ability and go for the bar barrel to make sure that dark goblin dies did he just what is he doing he wall breakers right into my um right into my executioner i think he thought it was gonna die see like this is what frustrates me is that he can literally just defend with only a knight in the middle um but i mean i guess knight is just probably i would say knight's probably still the best card in the game at the moment even the, he's not even using the evolution one and it's still like a really good card i thought it was all like it's always been good just kind of underrated because people don't realize how good cards are um because they just want to use whatever is broken in the meta they don't really care about actually like trying out different cards they just literally copy the top people's decks and just use them and that just becomes the meta um, that's how this game's been for many many years i'm actually gonna go for the nato to pull in this firecracker that should line up my bowler on tower yeah really nice connection there wall is actually gonna go backwards bowler is going crazy over here on this left side he's forced to go for the evo recruits which is fine with me i'm kind of low on elixir at the moment but i think i'm fine i'll just go for the bar barrel and then i'll get the golden knight down as well hopefully take out these wall breakers before yeah, we're gonna kill the wall breakers he's gonna go for the knight at the bridge but it's not gonna kill the firecracker in time or like distract it in time um so it's like going to end up killing the dark goblin which is huge right there for me i'm gonna pop the ability on the right side since he doesn't even look like he's defending it so he's gonna go for the recruits now firecracker is still alive from like a minute ago um i'm already back to a second or not a second one i guess since it is finally dead but i'm back to another one here i can just go for the bar barrel and then i'm also gonna nato just to pull back this um skeleton barrel off my tower and we're in a pretty good situation here i could go for another drill but i think i just want to play this one slow i really always have trouble against recruits like finishing out games um okay he's gonna go for a wall breakers knight but the knight literally walks behind this guy does not know what he's doing with the knight i'm gonna be honest um he's probably gonna pop the or go for the recruits at the bridge that's like his only play at the moment so i'm just gonna pop the gold knight ability now and that's gonna dash on a couple of those oh i thought it was gonna hit the dark goblin but unfortunately not evo recruits are gonna be a little bit annoying here um i just need to go oh my gosh i freaking almost just lost the game because i tried to click a nato and it didn't like i couldn't select it for some reason so i'm just gonna keep cycling cards in the back doesn't matter if we take a little bit of damage since we have such a massive lead he literally can't do anything like he's playing into a bowler executioner oh my gosh that was the worst firecracker i've ever seen Oh, this is what happens when recruits players get angry. They just start dropping everything at the river and think it's going to magically work. But unfortunately for this guy, that's just not how this is going to go. So I'm going to pop the Golden Knight ability. He pulls over with that. I can just go for a second bowler. Yeah, there's just 0% chance that's going to break through. My X is somehow magically hitting the tower. We're going to hit him with a little bit of BM. I know I have like a basically a 100 0 matchup, but you know, every recruits player deserves a little bit of BM, I think. Alright, going up against DC Langex. Gonna go for the archers in the back. That automatically, in my mind, means it's gonna be a cycle deck. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but I don't know. I'm gonna go for the Dark Prince in the middle. Also, I'm playing in, like, the National League series. Um, 
I think it's there's potential I could qualify for a live event. I don't really know the details, but it's this weekend, so I'm probably going to make a video on that. And if we do end up qualifying, um, then that's going to be pretty sick. I don't know. I've never been to a live event or anything for Clash Royale, and I've always wanted to. Um, like I've said previously, I'm just going to NATO these archers in and then pop the Gold Knight ability. That should actually get on tower. How did that not go to tower? Um, I don't know. Gold Knight's so inconsistent. I, don't, I think that's why it's not really used as much anymore. Um, because they made the dash a little bit less consistent to get to tower every single time like that old golden knight would have definitely hit tower from those two archers but you know it's fine i guess we just won't get that like extra 800 damage that i probably would have gotten if that did actually connect but it's fine i'm just gonna cycle a dark prince in the back here and see what this guy's gonna do he's gonna go for the knight in the back i mean everybody's using knight it's not even funny nobody uses evo firecracker anymore but i kind of wanted to just play it because i don't know it's a fun card to play not to face that's for sure um so pretty hypocritical to use it actually but you know whatever i just want to play it um because it's something different i'm gonna go for the drill on tower over here on the right then i'm gonna spam <clears throat> golden knight the bridge on the left and sometimes it's nice to play a deck like this because i just don't really have to think too heavily about what i'm doing i can just kind of let it naturally um like just naturally spam cards and it just ends up working out somehow that's what bridge spam is i guess um he's gonna go for another knight in the back i thought actually i was up elixir but i guess he is since uh, i mean he played that when i was only at like seven so he's got to be up elixir um if he goes for the mortar i have xe over here on the oh he's got rocket okay so he's just playing the rocket cycle whatever you want to call this deck um i'm gonna go dark prince in the back on the on the right side we need to get some split lane pressure going for sure here i'm gonna go golden knight and then drill on the right side and then i'm popping the ability as well right away no i should have waited dang it okay i can go for the hmm xe on the left though wait look at that xe on the left it's getting a ton of damage i didn't think i was actually gonna get any from that push but we're gonna get an even an another shot right there which is pretty huge i'm just gonna go for the bowler um and then barbaro okay he's gonna go for the mortar i can just executioner that um really bad archer from him i can just go ahead and protect my xe with a golden knight as well so we have some dual lane pressure once again this is really good um bowler's still gonna be alive he's gonna need something else for that for sure i'm gonna spam a dark prince on zero just to be annoying no i need to pop the ability no that's late oh my gosh i could have just won the game right there that was my bad um i didn't even like think about the ability till it was too late i, I don't really pl usually play a champion so that's why I'm not like 100% used to the abilities and stuff, um, but you know, it's, it's okay. I think we still have this one in the bag as long as I don't throw the game. I'm actually going to go Evo Firecracker and then Drill and then NATO everything together probably. Yeah, we're going to NATO this all together since Firecracker is going to stay alive on 1 HP. So annoying uh, for him to deal with. It's going to get a shot on tower. That's probably like what, 500 damage? Yeah, something about like somewhere around that amount. I'm just gonna go Golden Knight the bridge. At this point, I can just spam. He should probably just give up because like there's nothing he can do. He is gonna go ahead and throw the, throw in the towel. Um, I mean, not really much he could do there. Mortar archers against this deck, like good luck, man. Wow, would you look at that, guys? It's the real Moogie. Wow, I'm so scared. What if I lose this game? He's gonna destroy me because he's the best player ever. I'm just gonna go for the Dark Prince in the back. Um, you know, I feel like to get better at this game, uh, obviously, this is, is not the real Moogie, Moogie, right? I don't even think it is. But um, I feel like to get better at this game, you just have to stop being so nervous about, like, names and stuff. There's a lot of people that could be really good players, in my opinion, if they just, like, had less nerves. Because it doesn't matter at the end of the day who you're facing. The game's still the same. Like, it's all about your level of, of like, talent um, and your interactions and everything and if you're just nervous you're gonna make yourself play worse and, and not be able to beat people and there's no reason you should be playing better against somebody that you don't know who they are um did i just oh my gosh i freaking wasn't even paying attention now i just put the drill too high we're not going to talk about these plays at all but I, as i was saying i just feel like if you are trying to get better at the game you don't really you know you shouldn't be worried about if your opponent has a good top finish or whatever you should just be trying your best to win every single game um and not you know playing every game not the same but you know what i mean when i say the same like consistent and not making errors just because somebody is, has like a top 100 finish like a lot of my friends whenever they face somebody that's been ranked or something um they just get so nervous and i'm like why it's literally just the same game they're just better than you so if anything they're gonna make you better um by playing them so i'm just gonna go firecracker the bridge i don't know that's just my two cents on people like the nerves in clash royale and why i don't really get nervous anymore about anything okay i gotta somehow defend this i don't really know how 
Um, he's kind of caught me in some awkward cycles. I'm not going to lie to start off this game, but I think we defend this pretty easily. It's also double, so I can go for the NATO if he does, like, zap or something. But I think he's just going to let this go. We should be able to... Okay. I think I, I can still win this if I play perfectly. Um, I'm just going to pop the gold knight ability. He's going to barbs, obviously, which is fine. I can just go ahead and go for the dark prince over here to the side. And there's the eye drag. I'm going to actually just spam a firecracker at the bridge because he doesn't have fireball and cycle. I can just nato. I, I don't even need a nato. He's going to go for the fireball, but that dark prince is going to connect on tower because of that fireball. He didn't have enough elixir to do both, and I'm kind of stretching him thin. He's got to go for the arrows as well, so we're in a decent situation. That was probably a pretty bad XE. I thought he was going to balloon the bridge, if I'm completely honest. Um but he didn't. I'm just going to go ahead and go Dark Prince and pop the Gold Knight ability to force out the barbs. He's going to barbs now. We can barb barrel on top of those. Should clean that all up. Keep my Executioner alive and everything still heading towards tower. I'm going to go for the Firecracker to get some chip damage on top of his tower. Okay. Um, I'll get the XE down. Okay, please, Executioner, please clutch. I think we're fine because Arrows and Fireball does not take tower unless I'm just completely wrong about that. Um, we can still win this if I... I'm able to get damaged somehow. He's probably going to go barbs. Wait, he can't barbs on top of that because the Xe would have lined up on tower. He's forced to go for the defensive arrows. Okay, we're in a decent situation here. Bowler is going to counter those barbs. I'm going to go Dark Prince up high. I thought that Skeleton um, Dragon was somehow going to go to my tower. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm just going to Firecracker over here. That's not really going to do too much for me though, unfortunately. Um, I'll get the Golden Knight down here. I'm expecting him to go Balloon but we're fine i'm just gonna pop the gold knight ability he uses the barbs wait what is he doing oh wait no no no! please oh my gosh i almost just do i win i think i win the game yeah we win i almost just lost like four different times but we end up winning and this was a really fun deck to play thanks for watching the video we'll see y'all in the next one peace